Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. Today's video is all about how to stop your makeup getting oily and shiny throughout the day. I have got a very oily skin type and you know, I've just sort of worked out little tricks over the years and especially as a professional makeup artist that stop those oils coming through and like ruining your day. Cause I know what it's like to look in the mirror and be like, oh, like, is that my face? Like you could see your reflection in my face. It is that shiny. So I know, I know the struggle. I know. <laughs> it's just a few very simple steps that you can implement to your makeup routine in the morning that will completely change the way your skin looks throughout the day. And what's even better is all of the products that I've used in this video, except for the setting spray are drugstore products. So they're all affordable and very easy for you to access no matter where you live in the world. So if you have got oily skin and you are sick of it and you are fed up and you want to learn how to stop your makeup looking oily and shiny throughout the day, then please keep on watching. Okay, so the first step in stopping your skin from getting shiny is to use a setting spray. And I know that these are traditionally used at the end of a makeup routine, but we're going to be applying it at the start and at the end. What a setting spray does, it is essentially creates a bit of a layer over the skin and it helps to stop those oils coming through and penetrating through the makeup and making you look shiny. My favorite ones at the minute are the Gerard Cosmetics Slay or Day Setting Sprays. I love, like I just, I don't even have words for this. I love these. They don't irritate my skin. They smell great and they're just really easy to use. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my entire face right now. Oh, this new cucumber scent smells so good. If any of you are interested in getting any of these, you can use the coupon code JOY. That will get you 25% off the entire Gerard Cosmetics website. Now, the next step is to apply a primer. So I'm going to actually be using drugstore products for this video because a lot of you have been requesting more drugstore, you know, affordable type products in these videos. So I'm going to be using the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. I really really do like this primer. It's very basic and sometimes the most basic products are the ones that work the best. It's completely transparent once it's applied. It comes out sort of like a white consistency. Now with a primer and with an oily skin top, you don't want to go in and apply too much primer. So sort of only use a very small amount, like kind of just enough to cover mostly the T-zone. Um, I sort of start on the forehead and then spread it out and then I'll come in on my cheeks, apply the majority of the product here and then I'll add what's left on my nose, above my mouth, and on my chin, and then sort of just smooth it everywhere else. This rule really applies to anything. If you use too much product, it's gonna look cakey, it's gonna look heavy, and it's going to get greasy. So just only use a very small amount of product. Now, the next thing, which is actually a really old trick that has been used by makeup artists and drag queens for a long time, is to go in now with a setting powder. And I know <laughs> all of you are like, this girl is crazy. She's used a setting spray, she's used a primer, now she's using powder. Like, what is she doing? I promise you, this is really, really effective. If you want to learn more about this trick, Wayne Goss did actually do a really fantastic video on this. I will link it in the description bar down below, but it's a very old trick used by makeup artists. I'm going to be using the NYX HD Finish powder and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a brush and I'm going to go directly into the powder now you don't want to use too much product a very small amount of product is enough and I'm going to very lightly dust the skin through the t-zone now if you get oily all over your entire face you're more than welcome to do this trick all over your face for me my oils are predominantly in the t-zone so I sort of like to apply this to the t-zone and then whatever's left on the brush I will very you know lightly dust over the rest of my cheek area now what this does is it creates a nice Another barrier on top of that setting spray and it's essentially going to soak up any oils that do sneak through that first layer before they hit your foundation. I know we're, we're traditionally taught don't use a cream product or a liquid product on top of a powder but I promise you if you apply a tiny little bit of translucent setting powder before going with your foundation it's killer. Like, you will stay matte so much longer. It's amazing. Next up, I'm going to go in with a foundation. Now, I would always advise to use a mattifying foundation if you have got a particularly oily skin type. Today, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This stuff is incredible. It is like a mask for oily skin. It lasts so well and stays really full coverage all day long on my skin. Like, I can put it on in the morning and just wear it all day and it's amazing. I did do a full review on this product if you are interested in learning more about it. Now, again, let's is more so I'm only going to be using a very small amount of the product and I'm actually going to be starting on the perimeters of my face and avoiding my t-zone sort of in the interim I like to apply what's left on the sponge or the brush to the t-zone after I've applied the rest of the product to the whole face I find that this keeps my skin a lot matter and stops shine way better than if I go in and apply the majority of the foundation through the t-zone there now that the majority of the product is applied around the perimeter of the face I'm going to go in and start applying it through the t-zone 
Now, again, don't use ridiculously thick layers. Like you don't want this product heavy or any foundation that you're applying heavy because like I said, heavy pretty much means more grease and cakiness. So just, you know, go nice and light with this one. Okay, going in with concealer now, I really like the Maybelline uh, Fit Me Concealer. It's a really good concealer and a really close dupe to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, actually. I'm just applying a little bit of this underneath my eyes. Um, I just got out of bed, so I look super, super sleepy this morning. <laughs> now, for some reason in the viewfinder, my face is looking very yellow, but in real life, it's not. It must be the lights and the camera throwing off the color, so don't worry. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got our foundation on and I've applied a small amount of concealer underneath my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and set all of these products in place. Now, I am actually going to be using a damp beauty blender sponge and that same translucent powder that we applied through our T-zone earlier on in the video. Now, uh, this, I promise you, is like the holy grail hands down thing to do. I don't know why it works. I don't know how it works. But for some reason, setting your face with a damp beauty blender sponge, especially for oily skin types, will keep your skin matter and stop shine for so much longer than if you just use a brush. I don't know what it is. But I basically just go straight into the powder, pick it up, and then I apply it sort of more so through the T-zone because that's where I get the largest amount of shine around my nose under my eyes and then down here on my chin. I like to carry it up on my cheek, sort of where I would apply blush and contour. And then once I sort of set those areas and my eyes as well, set your eyes with the powder, guys. We'll stop you getting as oily on your eyelids. Once I'm done with that, I will then go in with a brush and sort of just dust around the end of my face. And I do also like to dust, you know, powder my ears, behind my ears, down my neck. Um, you know, the matter the better, really, if you're as oily as I am. <laughs> and then finally, to finish, you would go back in with that same setting spray that we used earlier. Spray the entire perimeter of your face. Don't use too much. Again, just a very thin layer is more than enough, and you are good to go. I'm not going to do this right now because I need to apply the rest of my makeup, but yeah, I would do this after I've got, you know, my blush and my eyeshadow and everything else on. So... Yeah. So that is all of the steps, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video and found it really helpful. If you do have any more questions, concerns, comments, or requests, please leave them all down in the comment section down below. I know oily skin can be quite challenging, to say the least. Quite challenging. So yeah, anything that I can help with, please let me know, guys. I've been using the tips in this video for a long time successfully, and I'm very happy with the results. So I'm sure, well, I'm hoping that you find them that way too. So yeah, I love you guys so much, and I will catch you all in my next video. So there are lots of different factors that we are battling, you know, through the day to keep our faces looking fresh and flawless and matte. And these five foundations that I have here to show you, I promise you, are incredible. They're very full coverage. They're very